So Tanner, tell me, what would be the greatest job in the world? Well, parents think I'm really good at petting animals, so they think I should work at the Humane Society. But my true calling is probably to be a dancer at Chippendales. Chippendales, nice. Very classy. Oh, yeah. What would you think would be the, the worst job in the world? It's easy. You know Matt Foley? Yeah, the uh, motivational speaker guy. Have your set. Uh-huh. Yeah. Probably that. Okay. Tanner, do you have uh, time for another question? Well, Kim, I actually have to go get a bed. So, time's short. Gotta go. Okay. Ryan, Stacy, your mother Ellen and I are so glad you decided to join us for this family communication session. So what's up? You guys getting divorced or something? No, we just wanted the family to talk as a group. Okay, well, let's get us started. Okay, well, Stacy, Brian, your father, Ted and I are a little bit concerned. Celia, the cleaning lady, was in the family room and she found a bag of pot. She didn't smoke it, did she? No, she didn't smoke it. Now, we're not here to come down on you. I mean, that's not what we're about, okay? We're just concerned that pot will lead to other things. Crack, ice, spoon, pow. Well, we know you don't want to hear this from us. Sure, I mean, we're your parents. Who wants to hear this stuff from their parents, eh? Your father and I came up with a brilliant idea to give you kids some direction. A motivational speaker. You mean to come to the house? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm out. Hey, 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 come on, guys. Send me back a few bucks. <laughs> okay, his name is Matt Foley. Now, he's been down in the basement drinking coffee for about the last four hours, and he should be all ready to go. I'll call him up for you. Matt, we're ready for you. Yes. His speech is called Go For It. Now, he's used to big groups, so make him feel like there's a crowd here. Matt, come on up, buddy! Alrighty, how's everybody doing? Good, good, good. Now, as your dad probably told you, my name is Matt Foley, and I am a motivational speaker. Now, let's get started with me giving you a scenario about what my life looks like. I'm 35 years old, I am divorced, and I live in a van down by the river. Now you kids are probably saying to yourself, now I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna get the world life tail, wrap it around and put it in my pocket. Well I'm here to tell you that as you go out there, you're probably gonna mount to jack. Squat! And you're gonna end up living on a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river. Now, young man, what do you want to do with your life? I actually, Matt, want to be a writer. Well, what do you frickin' know? We've got ourselves a writer over here. Hey, Dad, I can't see real well. Is that Bill Shakespeare over there? Well, actually, Matt, Ellen and I have encouraged Brian in his writing. Dad, I wish you just shut your big yapper! Now, I wonder, Brian. Brian, from what I've heard, you haven't been using your paper for writing. <laughs> But for rolling doobies, you're gonna have plenty of time rolling doobies when you're living in a van down by the river. Now, young lady, what do you want to do with your life? I think I want to be a dog breeder. Well, you'll have plenty of time breeding dogs when you're living in a van down by the river. 
James. Now you kids are probably asking yourself about now, Hey Matt, how can I back on the right track? Well as I see it, there is only one solution. That is for me to go get my gear and move it on here. Cause we're gonna be, I'm fun with you. We're gonna be buddies, we're gonna be pals. We're gonna wrestle around. <laughs> Old Matt's gonna be a shadow. Here you, there's Matt. There's you, there's all. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm gonna be late. Man, I didn't know if you'd make it on time.